how to use the EMF Safe Body Voltage Kit to determine which circuits you need to shut off with an EMF safe switch. To set up the body voltage meter, plug the metal handheld rod into the input port, then the 12-foot grounding cord into the COM port. In the first bedroom you want to test, find a nearby outlet and test it with the socket tester to ensure the outlet is wired correctly. If it is wired incorrectly, repair it. In the meantime, find a different outlet that is wired correctly you can ground to. Plug the grounding wire into the ground hole in the outlet. Turn the BV meter on by twisting the red dial to the V. Press the red select button one time so AC displays on the screen. Hold the meter with one hand with the meter rod in your palm to get the reading for how much electric field measured in volts your body is currently exposed to. The goal is to get this number below 0.1 volts, which is 100 millivolts. Take note of the reading. When testing a bedroom, it is vital you lay on the bed in your sleeping position while measuring. If you are double grounded, you will get a false reading. Avoid this by disconnecting any earthing or grounding pads, as well as by wearing shoes if you're standing or sitting in another part of the house. Set up the house as it would be when you're sleeping, turning off things like lights and TVs. It is preferable to have the person whose room you are testing lie on the bed as body mass matters. If you are mitigating more than one room, start in the room that will be turned off first, like a child's room. Then, leave those identified circuits off when you test the next room. Have another person go to your house's breaker box and, starting with the circuits that control the outlets to the room you are currently testing, turn off the breaker. If the BV reading does not drop below 0.1, then turn off the light circuit. Then any circuit for any room next to, below, or above it. As the circuits are turned off one at a time, tell the reading for each circuit to the person flipping the breakers. If little or nothing changes from a flipped circuit, then turn the circuit back on and move to the next one. If a large drop is seen, leave that circuit off. Keep going until the reading is below 100 millivolts, shown as 0.1, or until it is a value you want. Keep in mind, you still have a good ground even when the circuit is turned off. If you've turned off the circuits near that room and the BV reading is still too high, you will need to identify any hidden circuits that may be affecting it. Go through the rest of the circuits in the breaker box and turn them off one at a time. Be sure not to accidentally turn off essential circuits for things like your furnace, air conditioning, refrigerator, freezer, that sort of stuff. Once finished and you have the desired reading, document all the circuits that affect the target room, then follow the same process for any additional rooms, but leave the previous room circuits off and turn off as few of the new circuits as you can to get below 100 millivolts. Once you finish testing every room, Count all the circuits that are off to know the size of the EMF safe switch you will need to optimize reducing your EMF exposure while you sleep. Order your EMF safe switch, and once installed, with the press of a button, you will have an EMF mitigated sleep sanctuary in those rooms to promote healthier living. For more information about zones, mitigating your office, and using the ePen, check out our other videos at liveemfsafe.com.